Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, Manti, and in today's video, I would like to give you some more insight of what Gunslinger actually does, how to optimize his abilities, and give you some ideas on with what units it can work the best. So let's jump into the video. Alright, so first of all, Gunslinger is a support unit from Dark Domain Faction. Gunslinger attacks first target on the buff and is single target damage type of unit. His damage early on is pretty high, but it does not increase with his merge ranks. If you try to merge Gunslinger with unit with the same merge rank or lower as Gunslinger, it will swap places with it. Just like Portal Keeper does and most of you probably played Portal Keeper already. Whenever Gunslinger swaps places with any unit, all Gunslingers on the board carry out Ghost Shot which reduce armor of the monsters. Ghost shots can ricochet on minions uh, up to 8 targets if Gunslinger is merge rank 7. And of course, movement of the Gunslinger cooldown is equal to 6 seconds. Alright, so now let's talk about his ability. Well, it's an active ability, which means you don't level it up to level 5, which is max. His ability makes all Gunslingers on board carry out Ghost shots. Ghost Shot's armor penetration does not stack from those shootouts, uh, but it just becomes the highest amount possible. And of course, the damage is reduced. Alright, so now let's talk about the talents. Level 9 left talent makes Ghost Shot increase critical damage against all targets it hits by 20%. While level 9 right talent is a little bit complicated, but basically it makes Gunslingers have area damage, Ghost Shot does not reduce armor anymore, but the shootout mode damage after moving any Gunslinger is increased by 300%. You can also move Gunslinger of merge rank 2 or higher to a special tile and then he will lose one merge rank. But for each merge rank he had, all Gunslingers get times 2 charges that each increase damage from all Gunslingers by 1%. Level 11 left talent is basically a chance to cleanse Gunslinger under negative effect when he moves. Level 11 right talent makes all monsters under effect of ghost shots give you 20% mana. Level 13 talents left talent links all the targets together making them transfer 5% of the total damage received between them. While right talent gives you 15% attack speed bonus to all neighboring units after Gunslinger moves. And final level 15 talent reduces movement cooldown to 5 seconds and makes all monsters under effect of ghost shot get 3% chance of receiving critical damage. In the shootout mode all gunslingers get 30% damage boost. And as for the units that go well with gunslinger, in my honest opinion every legendary DPS unit will go well with gunslingers even if he is not level maxed. But if I were to give special mentions, I would say Blade Dancer, both Flora, Frenzy and Blooming Dash, Bard, Inquisitor, Spirit Master, Tesla and Banshee. Thanks to his armor penetration, he can be played with or instead of Trapper or Crystal Monster, and thanks to his movement, he allows pretty much all decks to be played at a very decent level. Now, let's jump to quick tips that I can already give you. Tip number one, when moving units with Gunslinger, it cleanses Burning Blaze's effect from that unit. It doesn't cleanse any other negative effect. Tip number two, if you play it with Zeus, you can first build up your merge ranks of Gunslinger and other units, and once they are max merge rank, you can move them away from Zeus tiles and place their next units to build their merge ranks. Tip number three, if you use level 13 right talent, try to move your Gunslinger first time at around two or three seconds before the boss, and then when boss spawns, move him back next to your main damage units. Tip number 4. Level 11 right talent and level 13 left talent produces huge amount of mana and it helps you build your board even faster. Tip number 5. Use your gunslinger's ability from the start once you get at least one gunslinger on your board. It will give you mana little by little. And final tip number 6. When cooldown of your gunslinger's ability is at half, it means he's no longer in the shootout mode, you can then move your gunslinger to get monsters under ghost shots effect to get even more mana and shred monsters armor.
Alright, that would be it for today's video of how to optimize Gunslinger in your gameplay. If this video helped you understand this unit a bit more, consider leaving like and subscribe to my channel as it really helps me grow it even more. If you have any other questions or concerns that were not mentioned in the video, drop them down below in the comments and I will try to help you. Thanks for watching guys and see you tomorrow at the same time.